Be sure to enter by Rollercoaster Tycho 3 Top Tycho 2015 competition. Link is in the description. Hello Spartans, Show C5000 here, and welcome to episode 5 of Let's Play Ultimate Free Park 2015. And, yeah, this is just taking forever. Oh my god. Five episodes, and I've been recording for, in total, I reckon going on for about eight hours. And I am nowhere near finishing this main street. Fuck my life. <sighs> what was I thinking when I signed up for this? Oh well. Uh, so. Yeah, there's not really much to say here. I'm pretty much doing the same old again. This is getting pretty repetitive now, actually. I mean, it's alright for one episode. Two episodes starts going annoying. Three episodes, it just gets a bit bullshit. <sighs> so, what is there for me to talk about? Oh, yeah, good news! My Corsair M45 has arrived. And I put it into practice to film this episode, and it's so much better than my old mouse. I don't even know what brand that thing was, but this thing is just comfortable, tracks perfectly. I didn't actually use my mouse pad. I mean, I have got an MM200, but I didn't actually use to use my old one because it just tracks perfectly on my desk. It's just better. And it's got red LEDs, which is badass. So, going into this episode, I was a little stuck for ideas of what I could do with buildings. So, I sort of went on a whim and decided to borrow an idea from my last theme park and just kind of do the whole kind of church thing with the tower, big tower in the middle. It was basically a miniaturized version of what I did at the start on the entrance building. Except this one's different and smaller. Actually, one thing I've noticed when I took the thumbnail photo for this video, actually, is that one side of this main street has a hell of a lot of towers and is also quite a bit higher than this side. So, I think in the next episode I may address that. But right here, I was pretty much just doing the same as I did for the entrance building, the yellow concrete blocks. It's pretty much a miniaturized version, so there's not really much I can talk about. Uh, I mean, really, not just not much has happened since I filmed the last one. I just had another more butt-tons of exams. Actually, speaking of exams, actually, I've got a few stories for those. Uh, where do I start? Oh yeah, English. I may have screwed that over, because in the exam in question, it's a big two-hour one, and for the second writing section, you we had a choice of two things, and I the writing task I chose was write about some, any aspect of modern life that you find annoying, so like writing a speech. So I decided I was going to rant about the education system in Britain, which, uh, well, actually more like just my, ex my school experience, because I've had... It's not great. I know Britain's got a good education system, but frankly, I just sometimes get really hacked off in school. S but then I thought, no. We're in the exam. Let's rant about exams. So I had a whole rant about pretty much why GCSEs are terrible. Hopefully I didn't just screw it over. Because trust me, I really went mad. Like, it was crazy. Right here, I was just doing some relief things. I found these in uh, Station Gym's Castle things too. I forgot I actually had them, so I really should have used them somewhere else. But you never know. If I do, when I do a whole detail sweep, I might come back to that. So I also thought that uh, some of my buildings were lacking a few pipes. Obviously, so I put that back to the test. I don't actually know what I'm going to call this episode yet because I haven't actually titled it or anything yet. Actually, no. Now I think I just pulled the title now because. The next thing I'm going to go on about is even better than that exam story. So this morning, like, this has already been in the news. So this morning we had maths exam, like, the first one of two papers, the non-calculator. And since then, so many students have been on Twitter and just been posting criticizing it in so many ways. Like, it is actually in the news. There's already a Daily Mail article about it. It's brilliant. I was just I just read it like um, about no ten minutes ago while I was editing this preparing to record the commentary. I just thought this is completely true and brilliant. Like it was amazing reading it. I mean I'm just trying to think. There's this one question about sweets had like uh, I don't know bag of n number of sweets uh, six of them are orange. Someone's one is taken and then not placed back and then another is taken. The probability that 200 is taken is 1 in 5. Show that n squared minus, n e minus 90 equals 0. What the hell? Like, someone put, and someone put a comment after that. Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> I just erupted when I read that. Like, 
Look it up on the Daily Mail. I think that's who it's written by. Or I might post it. Actually, I'll post a link in the description so you can read the ars this article because it's so brilliant. Uh, Music-wise, uh, I probably should talk about that. Uh, what we've got, we just had was Levels by Avicii featuring Skrillex. And now we have the Pendulum remix of Pack of Wolves by Nightbreed. And on that note, that's one building done. And like I said, pipe spams. Wow, I've just been talking for five minutes about exams. Holy crap. Oh well. And, oh, oh, I forgot to put the steel arch in, didn't I? Oh, uh, shit. Hang on, did I not? Oh no, I did forget. Remember to put it in. Sorry, my bad. I couldn't quite see underneath the buildings. That is a slight snag. So here, I just realised I was missing a few path edges and details here and there. I am quite liking my idea of gold path edges. It really makes it look look more dwemer. So back into the loop of the pipes. Honestly, I, I'm seriously gonna get some mental RSI at this rate or something if that's even possible. Actually, around here, actually, I started discovering a cool feature of the M45. And presumably the M65 as well. It's got two buttons on top that allow you to quickly switch between DPI settings. And also, actually, unlike my old mouse, it had a button that could do that, but it only went through one way. This you can jump up and down. Oh, and it has lights, like three LED bars, to indicate how high your DPI setting is. So what I can do now is if I'm trying to play something, it's fine. Because at the moment I haven't got the mouse pad. Because it can't. Kind of, I want a cloth mouse pad, which I and I've, my MM200 should be arriving today. So what I could, but what I could do in the meantime is. If I'm trying to play something a bit more pre more precisely, I can just turn down the DPI to make it less sensitive, so I can be more precise in my movements. And then if I want to just jump back to the menus and just get general placements and or doing like walls and stuff, there I can just turn up the DPI to the middle setting. I never use the top setting because I just haven't got the uh, screen space to do it. So right here, I was just doing more buildings. I was trying to avoid this being a copy-paste of the last building, which is, for one, why I used the different battlements. So, that was all going well. Then I found the plugs. In hindsight, I didn't actually need to do these plugs, because I really should have seen that, because I was placed, because I had the towers coming up, so I didn't actually use place them. I might just... No, I, I can't be asked to delete them again. Well, I might, just to save some space later on. Ugh... I am getting a little conscious about this meeting the same sticky end as my last theme park did, but I just figure if Silverick can do his theme park with that much terraforming, and I should have a new laptop on the way, which reminds me, I really should back up because I think my hard drive is starting to go. Like, it is getting a lot slower in this game. Like, every time I jump between senior items and walls, it, there is a lag. Like, every time. So I really should back up, my back up all my data sometime soon. So, what else is there? And here I decided to spam the crap out of towers again, just because I... I was trying not to get a copy paste of my of the Mazincha left building, so that was all crazy. I was debating placing in a, actually another one of those ruins of the foul structures I put in because I wasn't sure about it. I want, I mean, uh, I don't know. I, I guess in the end, I kind of concluded my path was a bit too narrow. What else can I talk about? Actually, yeah, I was reading in my comments and. One of the things I noticed was my commentary style. I know I do sometimes stutter a bit. I can't help it. I try. I do my very best to help it. But frankly, it's just probably just how I come be with my brother and sister. Because we all tend to kind of want to get our ideas and you have to talk a bit quickly. And in my case, sometimes my brain gets a bit ahead of my mouth and then I just crash. Trust me, I hate it when I just saw a crash in mid-sentence. It's super irritating. I mean, unless I have what I'm, I'm saying written out in front of me, then, well, frankly, I don't want to do that because then I can't actually see what I'm doing this because then I'd have to play through the whole time lapse, type it out as I go, then re-watch the whole time lapse. That would just take up even more time. And You people want videos, and you like it when I upload consistently. Consistently. Did I say consistency? So I can't really hear myself. My uh, headset blocks out even the sound of my own voice. Well, some of it. Seriously, the HyperX Cloud is just a brilliant gaming headset. It's like amazing. And it's great value, as is the M45. Like, if you wanted a Death Rider 2013 on Amazon, 62 quid. This, 37. So, just bear that in mind when you're buying a new gaming mouse. Also, this has red LED backlighting and is super special badass. Like, I mean. I'm slightly annoyed there isn't an RGB version, because I didn't want a laser sensor, and the M65 is a bit out of my price range, although the M65 is pretty sweet. 
So right here, I was just doing some terra painting and wrapping up some last minute details I missed out. So it's just the path plugs. But I've only got about, what, 30 seconds after this recording? So here I was debating putting another runes above half structure, but I had and I decided, nah. So, I think I'm going to wrap this up here. So, like I said, go into the description and read that article about the about the Excelizan because, oh my god, it's brilliant. Just, It's so great. But anyway, I'm going to sign off here. Like this video, please. Subscribe. I'm Shadow Two for Thousand. You're watching us at TV Let's Be Awesome with you by 2015. And this is YouTube Come Forward Slash Master One of And once again, I did the outro too quickly. I always do the outro too quickly. <sighs> Whatever. Uh, subscribe and watch the rest of the series. Bye.